Kilmarnock had new signing Kevin McGowan making his debut at central defence and they hope he'll close the leaks at the back. They've conceded eight goals in the first three games and they've scored five. Gus McPherson's cross almost allowed John Henry to improve on that ratio. But this game's opening goal was classic Dunfermline. Derek Fleming provided the cross for Jerry Britton and he heads it well. Two goals in a week now for Jerry. And Dunfermline were spurred on by the goal and even centre-back Andy Todd wants in in the scoring action. As you can see, he's a hard man to stop. But the home side were playing the better football and eventually it paid off. Watch for Paul Wright in space in the middle. Not a hard shot, but Westwater couldn't keep it out. 1-1, a minute into stoppage time in the first half. Alex Totten's men were almost in the lead a few minutes after the break. Gus McPherson launching the cross in for Jim McIntyre and the goal line clearance was by Craig Robertson. Westwater knew all about that one. He was all right in the end though. And then Killy were awarded a penalty kick just after that. Right pass to McIntyre inside the box and down he goes. Referee Allison spotting Hamish French hauling the jersey. Yep, that was the right decision. Paul Wright normally dispatches him, and no exception here. 2-1, Kilmarnock. So, from a Killy point of view, having been a goal down, they were now a goal up. But Bert Payton's side gritted their teeth and fought back. Jerry Britton coming close that time. The Eston D man is settling in well with the Fifers. Killy's last goal scoring opportunity fell to John Henry. Westwater got a foot to it. The Infermal supporters who'd made the trip were wondering if their side could level it, and they did. Britain managed to get a foot to the ball there. 2 2. A great finish from him, and nothing more than they deserved. Thank you.